Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold for yourself if your wireless printer appears unresponsive on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this is where we'll apply for a number of popular manufacturers of printers. It's pretty general advice for Dell, HP, Brother, Xerox, Canon, Brother, and so forth. So Epson printers and the like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Go down to the print spooler service and double click on it. If service status is running, we're gonna go ahead and stop it. And then we're gonna select start again. And startup type, make sure that's set to automatic and select apply and okay. Once you're done with that, you want to close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, once again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and then hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your problem has been resolved. One final thing we can look into as well would be to run the printer troubleshooting utility. In order to do that, open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot. Best match, should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter. Go ahead and run that. Windows 10, it's a little bit more I would say effective than on Windows 11, but you can just kind of go ahead and follow along with the on-screen prompts here that it suggests, and then see if it can actually go ahead and search for a resolution here. So you just might have to give it a couple minutes to run. And again, should hopefully be a pretty straightforward and easy to follow along process. So as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.